Hello everyone, this is Inspire2016. We would like to give you a free tarot card reading focusing on your love life and your relationship. This tarot card reading will give you an update of your love life, including your past, your present, and your future uh, relationship card uh, reading. So the way we laid out the card, we will draw four cards for you. So the first card will represent your past love life and the second card will represent your present conditions of your love life and then the third card will represent your future position of your love life and the last card will represent as a guidance card that represent the direction of your love life will be headed into for the next future. So I hope that you enjoy the reading and if you like the reading just click like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello Taurus, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly love and relationship reading for the week commencing the 27th of February until the 5th of March 2017. The first card for you is representing the past position of your love life. Your card is the Queen of Cups. You need to trust your intuition and listen to your inner voice. Trust the sensations and the feelings you are getting from your outside environment. You also need to empathize with others and to show true compassion. Focus on the emotional well-being of others rather than relying on rational or logical explanation. You are here to support and to teach others, by drawing upon your own intuition and sense of calm and emotional connectedness. Learn how those in need cope with life's challenges and share your knowledge. Hug someone you care about. One of the greatest assets of the Queen of Cups is her ability to sense the needs of those around her. Due to her associations with the element of water, the Queen of Cups can be passive and receptive. Her sensitivity draws those who struggle and suffer towards her. In many ways, she is a safe harbor for others. Her ability to connect on a soul level enables her to remedy the broken hearts of others. Her warmth and genuine caring make her a beacon of light. Because she is so responsive to the feelings of others, the Queen of Cups must constantly uphold her boundaries between herself and others. If not properly protected, the Queen of Cups can lose her own sense of self. This is her greatest vulnerability. The Queen of Cups tends to think with her heart, rather than her head. She may lack common sense and rationality but she is highly intuitive and sometimes psychic and dreamy. Similarly, if you are finding that the logical approach is not working, then the Queen of Cups encourages you to follow your heart and not your mind. You may be required to turn inward and explore your emotions about a particular situation. The Queen of Cups symbolizes achievements made possible by the use of imagination and creativity. This is a woman who is highly imaginative and artistically gifted, affectionate and romantic in outlook. She is often involved in creative or literary pursuits, and enjoys art, good music, literature and things of beauty. Therefore, you may be more inclined to pursue creative projects particularly if it acts as a form of self-expression. The second card for you is representing, your present love life. Your card is, the King of Cups. You are emotionally balanced and control. You have a very deep understanding of your feelings and emotions, and are able to connect with this when necessary. As you deal with some of the scenarios that life throws at you, Draw on this deep emotional maturity to help you navigate these challenges. Also, know that this is an incredible gift you have and be open to sharing your emotional stability and calm approach with others. If you are facing challenges, then the King of Cups is an indication that you must create balance in the realm of the emotions. The King of Cups represents compassion one of the most powerful and beautiful qualities of the human spirit. Ask yourself, how can I develop a stronger awareness of the unconscious without being overwhelmed by its power? 
how can I develop a stronger sense of compassion without falling into the trap of sentimentality? The King of Cups encourages you to be considerate in your dealings with others and as you counsel others. You may need to understand why strong feelings have surfaced and how to best cope with them. It is important that you do not repress emotions but instead explore them with an open heart and an open mind. Sometimes, the King of Cups can represent an older male who may appear in your life. This card represents a man of business, law or divinity, who is kind, considerate and willing to take responsibility for his actions. He is paternalistic but in a sensitive, generous manner, and he enjoys the quiet power associated with providing loving energy to others. He is able to listen mindfully to others and he responds calmly in a crisis. He uses diplomacy rather than force, and reached out to help, not to stifle or have it only his way. Similarly, the King of Cups shows you generosity, graciousness, love, calmness, caring and will give you his healing ways. He has power in the business world and loves law and order. You would love him to be your doctor. If there were a crisis at hand, this is someone you would hope to have near. The King of Cups is highly diplomatic and politically correct. He has a real talent at being able to balance the needs of many people and keeps everyone working together harmoniously and productively. He knows how to show care and sensitivity as he leads others towards a common goal. He responds carefully to others' emotional needs and can diffuse a tense situation by reading and responding to the different people involved. The third card for you is representing, the future of your love life. Your card is, the Ten of Pentacles. You will finally reach a point of completion and accomplishment in your relationship. This sense of accomplishment is likely to be as a result of an improved career path more solid financial reserves, a stable home environment and a possible committed and long-term relationship. This is one of those cards that shows that everything will eventually come together in a wonderful way and you will feel highly successful and proud of everything you have achieved. You will also feel compelled to share this success with others to ensure that they are also well cared for. With the focus on the family, you may be more inclined to direct a lot of your energy into ensuring that your family has everything that they need, from finances, to security and a good home life. You want to ensure that your children and family will always have everything they need. This card shows how family, or even extended family, is incredibly important. It represents tradition being a part of something bigger and realizing that the blood of your ancestors runs through your veins. It signifies that you are part of a long chain of individuals who subsequently creates a family, a tribe and a society. It provides structure where you can sit safely and comfortably, knowing that you are a part of history and heritage. The Ten of Pentacles is also a card of affluence and wealth. You are blessed with material abundance and are now free from any sort of money troubles. You feel financially secure and you are fortunate enough to have luck and success on your side to ensure your financial reserves are high. This card reflects permanence and creating a lasting foundation for future success. It is a card of commitment to a sustainable future, taking into consideration not just the short-term benefits of a particular venture but also the long-term benefits. It is about investing in the long-term and knowing that you need a consistent approach in order to achieve success that will last the test of time. The last card for you is Guidance for your love life. The Guidance card for you is The Wedding this situation involves marriage. You drew this card because of an upcoming wedding, your own or someone else's. It comes to you because marriage plays a role in the answer to your question. For some people, 
This card could be a validation that you will get married, and asks you to keep the faith and continue enjoying your life without worry about your future marital status. For others, this card signals that you'll meet a significant other at an upcoming wedding, or experience something there that will lead to new romance for you. It can also represent your parents' marriage and the way it affected your feelings and beliefs about relationships. In a few cases, this card asks you to look at your present and past marriages and review your feelings, with the intention of healing your heart and your relationship. Perhaps it's time to enlist a marital counselor to help you both sort out how you feel. And sometimes, this card can signal the end of a marriage, in which case the angels support everyone involved as you come to an understanding about the experience and renew your heart's willingness to love. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get uh, instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.